G'day everyone this evening on bank fishing from the ba bank fishing from the bait. <laughs> hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. G'day everyone. This evening on bait fishing from the bank at Lake William Hovel. Now this is just a, a good old fashioned Robbie fishing vlog, a fishing vlog, a fishing video log of my day. I'll show you how I've got everything set up. I've got a time lapse camera here that's already started. That's taking one photo every 30 seconds and it needs it needs 30 photos to make one second of video footage. And hopefully I'm gonna get the sky as it changes color and the shadows run up the hill and stuff. So I'll leave that going. I've got an esky here, it's got a couple of drinks, it's got my lunch in it, I haven't had lunch yet and it's nearly five o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> I've got a couple of salad rolls and a couple of cold drinks. I've got my camera gear, my good camera gear in case a sea eagle comes and takes a fish off the surface or something cool happens and my landscape camera, my tackle box, my chair and my fishing rods are way down there and that's because I want to sit in the shade. It's still a bit too sunny down here. I've got my U-Butte fishing rod holder, my little stumpy rod and my long rod with a running sinker rig. The only thing different about this video, and it is quite different, I never really fish up here like this this time of the year. I come up here in the winter and I sit there for hours just waiting for a couple of nibbles here and there. This time of year I'm usually in my kayak paddling around chasing redfin with lures. The reason I'm not today is because I've got some stitches in my leg because the doctor had to cut a little a little dark patch out and I was going to kayak up here but they said not for a couple of weeks so I'm a bit disappointed about that. But anyway, it is what it is. So I'm going to sit here and just drown some bait, see if I can catch a fish. My little stumpy rod has a pat noster rig on it. I'd love it if I could find a nice little yabby. I found a couple of crickets. Maybe a cricket will do. I can see him hiding there. I'll put that back over there. I might put a cricket on. Oh, where are those crickets? Are they still there hiding? One was down there. That's a yabby. It's only a really small yabby. But I reckon it'll work. I'll put this... I turned the rock over to see if there was any yabbies under it, and I found a cricket. Now I've uh, now I've turned it back over to get the cricket and found a yabby. That's a tiny yabby, but I reckon a fish will still grab it. Look at the size of that weeny little yabby on the hook. <laughs> right over the, the Paternoster rig can just go out there with this little mini yabby. Probably catch me a little mini fish. Right, I've got a tiny little micro yabby on the on the little stumpy rod and I'm going to put a couple of big juicy janjuck worms on the running sinker rig. Right, the running sinker rig can go way out there. Even now it's probably only in about five or six feet of water. Oh, it's sunk quite a bit. Should be deep enough. I wonder if there's a bigger yabby under this rock still in the water. Didn't see one take off. And there'd be gabbies under there if I can roll it over. Oh yeah, better be able to roll it over. Ah, roll it under my foot. Come on, very smart. Oh, there's a nice gabby. Perfect. Come on, mate, grab me finger. There we go. Perfect size redfin yabby. Look. Awesome. I won't roll that one over, I'll leave that for now. I'll roll it over later after I catch a big redfin on this yabby. I've just re-rigged the stumpy rod with another Pat Nost rig, but I've just used a slightly larger sinker because I'm going to put this yabby on and the larger sinker will just allow me to cast out a bit further. Now I've shown you before and I'll, this is how I'd rig a yabby. I'll just put the hook straight under the tail, about the middle, poke it through, and that's it, ready to go. I'm going to walk down just to get that little bit of extra casting distance. That's better. I've just gone for a walk up there and found this stick, this fork shaped stick that somebody else has been using. It's a good stick too, they've sharpened the end and they've cut it nice and neat. And it's going to, because there's a little bit of a breeze and my sinkers aren't very big, there's a lot of slack in both lines and that's going to lead to tangling. So I'm going to put this up here and move my worm rod up just a little bit. Just had my first bite, it didn't take long, only about two and a half hours. It was a worm bite. The bite was on the worms. Come on, will there be a uh, will there be a twilight bite? I 
I want to, I feel like I want to just move it in a bit and check it and make sure there's not a fish sitting on it. What I might do is reel it in and check the bait and cast it back out. You know what, I'm glad I did, there's a fish on it. I've got my first fish of the day. <laughs> Been sitting here for two and a half hours and that is exactly why I wanted to check that then. Folks, you're not going to believe this. I'm on the board. I'm going to get a photo. Well, that didn't take very long at all, did it? Only about two and a half hours. <laughs> I was sitting here for ages. But I finally caught my first fish. A tiny red fin. Say later, mate. Oh, he jumped out. Bit of a red fin bust up over there just then. Haven't seen one all afternoon. I was only thinking just before, I haven't seen a single red fin bust up. It's just been dead like fishing in the wind in the middle of winter. Then I just caught my first fish and I just saw my first bust up while I'm baiting the hook to put it back out. Well, I'm glad I decided to check that bait. I'll give you a tip. If you're ever fishing with a running sinker, you usually end up with a bit of slack in the line, especially when you're casting a long way out like that. So the tip is, if you get a bit of a bite, don't leave it too long before you check your bait, because quite often the fish can grab the bait, hook up, and then swim back towards you, and you won't notice any difference just by looking at your rod. So it's always good to check, just in case there's a fish sitting on your line. I've just decided to check my yabby, and look, he's fighting fit, but I think I'm going to put him back in and put worms on both rods. See you later, yabby. See you later, mate. Right, I've got the double worms, Janjak worms on both rods. The reason I've done that, not just because I've caught all the fish on worms, because I've only caught one, but just getting later in the day, if there's a, the water's cooling down now this time of year, if there's a trout around, I think I'm more likely to catch it on worms than I am a yabby. And there are a few carp in here in this lake. A lot of people don't realise that. It's not inundated with carp like some other places, but there's, uh, there are quite a few. So just worms will just open the door to maybe catching something else. I'm putting a jumper on. It's the first time I've fished in a jumper since probably probably back in September or October, I reckon. In fact, I've just come for a walk with a little soft plastic. I pulled the little stumpy rod out. I thought I'd come for a walk and just have a bit of a cast, and I wasn't filming, and I just hooked up on this tiny little red fin. <laughs> I thought I'd just quickly take the stumpy rod out and go and have a cast with a soft plastic for a few minutes. And bang, I hooked up. Maybe I should leave the camera rolling in case I catch another one. Got him. Another one. Oh, he got off. He's back, mate. He hit it again. Definitely had another strike then. Something's biting the pet nostalgia here. Whoa, whoa, nice bite, nice bite. I don't know what happens if I just pick it up and just check it. If there's nothing there, I'll just leave it sitting there. There's something on there, look. That's twice that's happened now. I've had a bite and I've waited and then I've decided to check it and there's a fish on the end. I think it's a little bit bigger than the last one, but still no, no more. I might be bringing a bit of slime too, might be making him feel a bit bigger than he actually is, but he's hooked a bit deep. See if I can get that out, mate. One of my awesome followers, Robert Cotton, sent me these hook disgorges a while back. You put the line through this little bit at the front. This line might be a bit thick for this one. I wanted the other one. There's two different sizes. Then you poke, you run it down the line, and it pulls the hook out of the fish. Let's see how we go. Worked. Look at that. Robert Cotton, thank you for your hook puller adder, hook disgorge or whatever they're called. Little red fin. See you later, mate. Maybe it didn't work all that well. Got the hook out. It might be just a bit confused, I think. I'll throw you out a bit further, mate. Well, I'd like to say he's going to be just fine, but I don't know. I think the... Uh, the prognosis isn't all that great. Good luck. Couple of fresh worms. Line back in. Wait for the next one. Just come over to check the long rod and I was getting a bite. I wonder if there's a fish sitting on it. There it goes. Look. I reckon there's something sitting there. Got him. 
Yep, there is one sitting on it. I sat here for two, it was about half past six. So I sat here for, I think this switch is gone, I oh, know, it's still there. I sat here for two hours before I had a bite. Now I've caught three in about the last 20 minutes or so. Look at the tiny one, this one. Smaller than the last one. I've got the hook out. Ah, see you later, mate. All right. I'm going to put a fresh worm on. Bombs away. Now running sinker rig's getting a bite again. Look at that. Missed it again. I keep missing it. No, I didn't. I got it. Look at the size of the bloody thing. That's why I kept missing it. They're tiny. Tiny. He swallowed me a hook. I'm going to throw this small red fin on the water for the sea eagles. I haven't seen any today. Well, heard any? I know they're up here. All right, little red fin. Go and find yourself, or go and put yourself where a bird will find you. The moon is out. The m m moon is out. Bam bam. Right, a couple of fresh worms on. I started fishing at 4.30 and I didn't get a touch until 6.30 and it's now three minutes past seven. So just in the last half an hour I've had all this action. I've just changed my camera setting down to 30 frames a second. I was on 60 frames a second. It gives it a much smoother sort of a look. But because the light's getting darker, 30 frames a second just allows longer exposure to the low light for each of those 30 frames, if that makes sense. I've had a few bites on the stumpy rod that I've missed, so I've moved my chair down closer. When I sat up, I sat up with my chair back further so that I was in the shade, because this was all in the sun then. I haven't had a touch on the running sinker for a while though, so I might check it. Just in case something's grabbed the worms and just sitting there. Which happens a lot with running sinker rigs. Nah, it's all good. Hmm. Something's showing a bit of love to the running sinker rig here. Just drop as it goes, and got him. Isn't it funny? I sat there for a while without a bite, and then I uh, reeled it in to check the worms and put it back out. And as soon as I put it back out, I got another bite. They're all so small. This is one of the bigger ones of the evening. Even it's small. Can I get a photo of it with the moon in the background? See you later, mate. Off you go. Big shout out to Janjuck Worms, Janjuck Fishing Worms. You can find them at fishingworms.com.au. You can buy them online and I will send them out to you. And even in the heat of summer, I've never had a dead one turn up. They pack them in a cardboard box and uh, wrap newspaper around them just to keep them cool. And then they post them at the start of the week so that they're not stuck in a truck yard or something all weekend. And they always come in very good shape. Jan Juck worms. Legends. And very, very fat, juicy worms. Got him. Oh, I think he got off. Might have been running through the reeds. Oh no, still on. What happened there? It went really slack. It went really slack. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a fish on it. There is too. Look, something's grabbed it and then swam towards the bank while I was over dealing with the last fish on the running sinker. <laughs> I didn't see the bite. It was just the fact that the line had gone really slack that made me decide to check it. Oh, look at that bite straight away. Straight away got a bite. Did I get it? I did too. The line wouldn't have been in for 20 seconds. I just put it in. I didn't even get time to sit down. Put it in. I just put me bum on the chair. Then the fish started biting. You know, you got off. You got off at the last minute. <laughs> well, that suits me fine. 
Get back nostril, he's getting your body. Whoa! So is the running sinker rig. <laughs> They're both getting bites. Oh, would you believe after that bite there's no fish on the end? I'll check this because it's going really slack. And that's why, because there's a fish on the end of it. I'm going to watch this other rod. That's all happening. Where's that fish I speak of? I think that's it there, the slime wrapped around the sinker. <laughs> Got him. Hold it up high, there's a trout rising just out there. I'm holding it up high just to keep it out of the weeds. Another little red fin. I've just packed up everything except my time-lapse camera. I haven't been watching these rods. Let's pick them up now to put them away and see if either of them have just randomly got a fish on the end. And this one hasn't. Or has it? Yes, it has. <laughs> it's just in a bit closer. It must have swam in with the line. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's one from one. Alright, what about rod number two? Is it got a random fish on it? No. So only one of the two rods had a random fish on it. I sat there from 4.30 until 6.30 without as much as a nibble and then at 6.30 I caught my first fish and then they didn't stop from 6.30 until 7.40 which is now. It was just an epic sunset bite window. The redfin went nuts. They were all small but given that a lot of places are fishing quite slowly at the moment I was just happy to get a few. Thank you all very much for watching.